It's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> really? You are speed? Then Francesco is triple speed. Francesco is triple speed. Oh, ho, ho. Francesco likes this McQueen. It's really getting him into the zone. So getting beat to the end. Here we go. Let's go racing, boys. There's going to be tremendous speed from all these cars coming off the start line. None of them want to be left behind early. is excellent. He's got plenty of fuel. And he's awesome. As they head into the Palace Airpin, Francesco builds an early lead. Oh, hang on, boys. Here comes the dirt. Slipping and sliding, baby. McQueen, it's time to make your move. Get on the outside and show them what not done touch. Ten four, Mater. Oh, boy. Francesco's brought to a screeching halt. And Lightning McQueen is the first to take advantage. And just like that, folks, Francesco's lead is left in the dust. And this dirt track section continues to baffle some of these races. Ah, Man, McQueen looks happier than a roll bar at a demolition derby. That's right, Daryl. McQueen's mentor, the Hudson Hornet, was one of the greatest dirt track racers of all time. Everyone's jostling for position as we hit the asphalt again. Francesco lost a lot of momentum in the dirt. If he wants back in it, he's got to make it up in the tunnels and the tight turns of the Shibara district. Well, he's got some serious work ahead of him if he wants to get back in this race. It's anyone's race right now. This track has equalized this diverse field. The World Grand Prix will truly crown the world's fastest car. Whoa, Francesco on the move. He dramatically slots into sixth, and he's looking for more. No, Lewis slams the door on him. Racers hit the Rainbow Bridge with its 360 degree loop. Look at McQueen. He's never raced this course before, but you wouldn't know it. He's having a fall. McQueen and Francesco jockeying for position as they power down the Ginza straightaway. Time. Roger that. Oh, Miguel Camino is blowing an engine. Very unusual, Daryl. He's been so consistent all year. Huh? Guys, a little too much chatter. Let's keep this line clear. Smoke from number 10, Clutch Godski. What? Outside? Oh, the queen suddenly moves to the outside. I cannot believe what I just saw, Brent. That was a bonehead move. You don't open up the inside like that. That move might have cost McQueen the victory. Stop it, Vader. Just sign off. And here they come, the two leaders. They're bumper to bumper as they approach the finish line. It's going to be close. Francesco's the winner. McQueen's number two. 